Hello YouTube, this is Leon and today we have commentary over domination on strike. Pretty good map and I'll be using them for carbine silenced with bandolier stopping power and dead silence. I decided to be sneaky sneaky this game and use dead silence. And this is a great example of what an average game for me would be like. Nothing special, nothing uh, amazing in terms of score or gameplay, just an average game for me. Here, uh, I tried to cap B, but I fail as I get murked by the M16 guy. And yeah, they really need to lower that weapon's power in Modern Warfare 2. But uh, in terms of strategy, this map is pretty straightforward. Um, just push towards B at the beginning, have one guy cap your home flag and push towards B. Cap B and after that you can just lock down the enemy team and their home flag. And I kind of got lucky in this game because I was playing on the marine spawn. And they gotta rename this discrimination instead of domination because that's all it is. Um, honestly, look at the map. Okay, look at the way this map is designed. It clearly, clearly favors the Marines. Um, I mean, that four can flank towards A, and that is their best bet. Other than that, they only have this main entrance over here by the dumpster, which the Marines, as you can see, have occupied. So, um, if you're playing this map, it's good to actually be you know, the rain spawn. And this is a great spot to defend B from. The reason that why I decided to do commentary on an average game for me is because I just wanted to um, do commentary on this map. And believe it or not, this map was actually played in a party with my good friends XXX Angel and Soggy Fish. So, uh, <laughs> shout out to you guys if you're watching this. It's always good to play this game in a party because you actually get decent teammates and when you're playing with friends who you actually know you can uh, communicate and use, you know, your special language. Like for me, Right now I'm telling my friends they're at the 7-Eleven because um, that's what I call that building down there where you see all the red dots. And uh, about the weapon, I mean M4 Carbine, it's probably one of the best weapons in the game. You can silence very good um, assault, assault rifle, very um, reliable, very um, fast firing, high rate of fire. And basically, there's not much to talk about. The rest of the game, I'm just defending B and preventing the enemies from capping it. This is also a great spot to take out enemies from. I see this guy up in the window. Get the radar. And I'm basically trying to be aggressive over here because I don't see any enemies. Get my radar and I see that they're up in the building. Or at least one guy is up there. So um, I dispose of him and this is a good spot to camp, I guess, their spawn. I wouldn't say camp because it's not camping as you can see I'm moving around a lot but I mean this is a great spot to have a view of this of uh, of their spawn if you will and take cover behind the bed this guy doesn't even see me and now that I have my chopper I can play more aggressively get the AK my favorite weapon, although I do not like it with red thought. That's just me though. It's 
switch to it and uh, spray this guy. Um, although he did catch me by surprise with the last stand. I'll admit that. Chase this guy, which is uh, not a wise thing to do, as you just saw. I wouldn't recommend chasing a guy. Um, I think as Excal mentioned in one of his videos, when you see a guy, the best thing to do is just cut them off and uh, surprise them instead of chasing them because going after a person is not a good idea because you will get murked in the back as I just did and uh, here this guy's trying to cap B by himself um, which is not a good idea I wouldn't recommend it This is actually kind of funny for me because um, my friends were wondering where they were, and I keep saying 7 Eleven, 7 Eleven, and they couldn't figure out which one I was talking about because um, this is actually 7 Eleven number one. The other one over there is number two, and I was just saying 7 Eleven, so my bad, guys. This is 7 Eleven number one. Kill streak from the Deagle guy. And I can't say how awesome this spot is because you can actually take out many people from here. I call him my chopper. And I pull back to let it do my dirty work. What to talk about? Anyways, my friend Soggy Fish just prestige. So, congrats to you, my friend. After not wanting to prestige for a while, and he finally decided to do it. But I have nothing to say about that because prestiging in this game is kind of pointless in my opinion. And a lot of people have been asking me, uh, Leon. What do you think of prestiging? Should I do it? Uh, whatever you want. You don't get anything for prestiging. It's just, uh, in my opinion, it's used to make the game last longer so that you don't get bored with the game. So you can just reset your character and rank and just play all over again. Um, now, I don't know if that will give us something special in Modern Warfare 2 for those who are Golden Crosses. Uh, I'm hoping. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. But you never know. Our UAV is online. Would be cool to see something uh, that actually rewards you for your time in this game. And here I'm basically going on a bullet wasting streak. Uh, let's see what to talk about. Not much to say on this map, as you can see, we just locked them down. This, this car is great cover. And uh, I don't know why they made that in this game, but cars cannot be penetrated by anything. So, yeah. This is basically just running around the map, trying to figure out where the enemies are. This is the game, final score, 36 kills and 6 deaths, solid 6 to 1 ratio. Average game, um, I hope you enjoyed, please rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you, and later.